Hello friends and welcome to Let's Build Newcrest for the exterior part of Corner Cottage. Um, Corner Cottage is going to be a two bedroom English style kind of cottage, hence why the name and, and Corner Cottage because it's on this lot on the corner of the street. Now this is the starter area so we've got all the lo these lots to kind of build up upon. Up upon? <laughs> <laughs> upon <laughs> um and this one here is where we're going to be doing it today now i will be building it in a kind of very quintessential looking english kind of countryside cottage obviously we're not in the countryside we are in newcrest it isn't really going to fit in with the world at all around it but we're going to oversee that because what i want the houses to do is kind of reflect on each other and not pay too much attention to the world that's around them. I really wanted everything to look seamlessly together like it fitted in Newcrest. But if I'm going about this in a kind of English way of building or British, sorry, um, then it's not really going to fit in with the world because we do not have kind of houses like this. This is very kind of American Victorian. Um, so I'm just going to carry on with the series like it is and build the way that I want to build for this series. I think that'd be the best way to do it. Um, and I know you guys are looking forward to seeing it in that way. And yeah, that's about it. Now, I, what I was thinking is there is like an entrance kind of this way. So I do want to get a kind of car sort of not, a, uh, I might do a garage. I might actually do a garage off to the side actually of the actual cottage itself. And we're gonna wall this whole area in and surround it with trees. And then we're gonna blend in like we did with the last house. We're going to blend these lots in using landscaping uh, that kind of mirror each other and kind of make it kind of pull together as a world. Unsure of what we're going to build on this lot yet. This is a residential area, so I don't know what we're going to do there yet. I might actually do a couple of houses on this one so it kind of fits in a little bit better. But yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's get bloody started, shall we? Now, mm, I've got no kind of reference picture or anything for this. I see these kind of houses in my everyday life anyway so it's not going to be too hard to kind of get a an idea of what i want to do um i think that's about as wide as i want to go with it i'm going to get some windows on it uh we are going to be using cc for this build as i said in uh, previously we won't be using cc for every build we will be mixing up here and there but for the houses that i want to create um i will use the cc that is required so um as always CC will be linked down below in the description box. Is that too big, that window? Um, I think it might be a little bit too big. It might be okay. I, in fact, I think these would be better. Yeah, they're better. What color should we go for with these? Um, oh, maybe a green. Yeah, like a, is that green? Yeah, it is. It's like a, it's like a soft green. We'll use that. Right, we'll plonk two there. Uh, we're going to put a doorway underneath there. Let's go back here. Um, oh, oh, I've got custom content uh, filtered there. And well, I don't know how far I want to go back with this house. I don't want to make it massive. I really don't. It's supposed to be a really cute little cottage. We're going to make inside very um, sort of cluttered and lots of detail. Is that too small? Maybe one more. Let's have a look. I just need to get an area mapped, really. We will be going upstairs as well, which is where the two bedrooms will be housed. Um, it might be easier if I just do like a full square on top as well. Yeah, I think so. I do think so. I think that would be lovely. I'm not going to put windows in there just yet. Or in fact, let's put two just there. Unsure if I'm going to do one in the middle just yet. But um, we shall see. I'll put them down quite low because I know with country uh, sort of English cottages, the roof line does come down. Now, I want to test out the roof texture that we got with um doo -doo 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 island living i got it right yes uh i want to make it look like it's a proper thatched roof i think that would be pretty cool to do it that way now we will make these kind of should we do it to about there and then maybe just do you to about there let's bring you down just slightly darling let's have a look at that from the front oh that looks cute already Oh, I love it. Love it. Right. Um, I'll move you along there. I've got an idea with this. Maybe if I do this first, actually. 
Uh, this may look weird for the second, but I promise you, I hope it will work. I, I've, I think it will. I've got it in my head that it will, so that usually means that it might. Right, if we do one there, and then one there. Okay, and then we're going to... Oh, in fact, let's not do that. Let's get the this rounded off properly first. If I can do it like that. Yes. Copy you to there. Lovely. Okay. Um, what I'm thinking, actually, if I can pull this to there, slide you in that way. Don't mind that it's kind of coming through there a little bit. And then I'm going to copy you to there. Pull that flap up. Oh, matron. Um, to about there. Yeah, I think so. And then copy this one to there. That's a bit too far in, but I can easily sort that out by doing that. Is that equal on that side? It is. Okay, brilliant. Lovely. Fantastic. Good job. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely job there. Um, I hope that's not going to look weird once this... Maybe I could, like, just... Eh. We'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. We'll figure that out in a sec. Let's copy this one to over this side. And what this is doing is stopping the roof trip, the roof line from kind of coming down over this and giving this this own its own moment, which is um, which is good in my books. Right, if I can slide you in and then pull you out. Let's have a look from the front. Lovely. Yeah, now these windows look too low. That's perfect. Oh, that's cute. I'm hoping that this works. I have not tested this. What one should we go for? Well, it's not really got a tropical thatch. Um, I'm thinking maybe not the... Oh, that's very orangey. That is quite orangey. Maybe the dark one then. Yeah, we'll do the dark one. All on this roof line. And then use the trim, which is hopefully this one. Fine thatch, thick thatch. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what one to use. What are you like? Well, you're not really much different, are you? Let's just put both of them on one and just see the difference. What's the difference between them two? <laughs> they look exactly the same to me, so we'll carry on. Oh, I think this will work. Yes, it will. <gasps> look. Cottage. Oh. Oh, I like it. Yes. Yes, we'll do that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, I'm going to copy these windows now. I'm going to place these just at the back, not at the sides yet, because I do want to get the rooms mapped out first before we start doing that business. And then what I'll do is copy these two. I can just pull you straight through, actually. That's it. a lot easier. There we are. Stunning. And you, darling. Flop all the way out there, my sweet. And again. Lovely. Uh, that's a bit too far. Why is, why are these so excessive? What? Ah, uh, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I get you. We only pulled through one of those flaps on one side. That's why it was looking weird. And this side. Why is it not gone on that roof trim there? That's weird. Excuse you. Um, hello? Why is it not going on that bit there? And we can see right through. Oh, right. It's because this is too far out. <clears throat> we'll, both, we'll pretend that didn't happen and that I'm a professional. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, this looks weird over here because of the lighting. Oh, that looks better. Obviously, without the plasterboard, we won't be doing plasterboard. Very nice stone detail, I think, on the walls themselves i think that would be pretty cute and i'm thinking maybe not using obviously cc i don't i haven't got really many cc paper wallpapers i need to find some more um what one did i have in mind oh yeah it's in this one i'm always bothered at the fact that this pattern here this stone is not in with the stone like why hmm? <laughs> why that's a really nice color actually so let's remember that one Definitely not dark grey, not blue, not green. It's pretty, but it's not what I want. Nope, that's too pink. I can see it already. Yeah, this is going to be the one. Yes. Oh, I'm going to cover this in ivy as well. So 
the car could come in here and I could put a garage on that side over there. Ignore this like block at the front. We're going to do some detailing with that in a sec. Um, yeah, I'm kind of here for that. Would I be able to fit a small circular window on the roof? Like on these little trims here. Oh, it's very small. It's very small. Could I lift you? Just slightly. Is that going to take away the... No, it's fine. How many did I do then? It was like three, wasn't it? Or was it two? It was two. It was two. Uh, one tile. Oh, maybe not then. Two. Oh, I have not got move objects on. One second. Okay. Move objects is on, but I think these windows are going to be a little bit small for it. Is that the same green now? Let's get you down here and get that same green. There we go. Can I just move you... Oh, I can push it to there. Mm. I'm not sh too sure I'm keen on that. We'll leave them there for the meantime. We'll leave them there for the meantime. And then once we've done the detailing, we'll come back and have a look and see if they look okay. For the minute, meh, not really keen on them. But it's not too shabby. Okay, I'm going to go into this side and we're going to do a garage area. But I would like the garage to maybe house... If we can do it this way. Right, okay. Um... Maybe, let's see from the front, just to see the balance. I could go five, or, no, that's fine actually. I could go five, one, two, three, four, that way. I would like the garage to house some kind of like, um, what I'm like storage place as well. So I could do that inside really. Uh, we could put a door there. Huh. What about if we tried to make a garage look like it, the garage door was open? I've never done that before. Like we could just like do this on it. And then I could put a texture on that to make it look like the garage is open. That could be cool because we could put a car like hanging out of it then. Maybe. We'll leave that open anyway. I kind of like that idea. Do we want to do it in the original stone? Or should we do it in a wood? Let's do it in a wood. Let's do it in a cheeky bit of wood. I might even um, use the peacemaker wood for this. Ooh. Ooh. I've not got around to using this yet. Main reason is being I don't really like it. <laughs> but that goes really nicely with... <gasps> yeah, we're going to use this. Because that goes really lovely with the, like that colour up there, if you know what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> you know? And then I can do the chimney accents in that brick. We're also going to put this on foundations, which we can max. Oh, shit. We're not going to be able to have a... Oh, yes, we can. I'll just raise the terrain up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, right. We're going to go on the inside. I think I can just do you all around like that. Lovely. Um, roof line again. I think I'll do a, um, a half hip roof here. But we will round it off slightly as well. Let's get that grid off so you can guys can see what I'm doing. Um, what I'm thinking about doing as well with this series is asking a question to you guys every episode. Like a question of the day kind of thing. Maybe we could have his own little theme tune. Like, question... No, don't, don't sing it. <laughs> um... <laughs> I can't believe I was going to do a little jingle. <laughs> yeah, we could do like a little like question of the day thing. Um, and my thoughts were maybe the question of the day today could be what is an album that you feel changed your life for the better? So put the answers in the comment box below. I'll tell you mine. I've got a couple. So if you've got a couple, like feel free to spill them off. But um, I can't, I'm still laughing at the fact that I nearly did a jingle for it. <laughs> um, yeah, that looks cute, doesn't it? I kind of feel I want something on this side as well. <gasps> Maybe I could put like the sort of like garden storage thing on this side. And then I could put a chimney at the front of it. This could even house the toilet actually, because it would be cramped with space down here. If I do one, two, three. And sort of offset it to the back there. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, um, my 
al album that changed my life was probably Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. I remember listening to that album when I was younger and being absolutely blown away from it. I loved it. It helped me out as well. It helped me out when I was questioning my sexuality and I was a bit confused and a bit angry with things. Uh, I would definitely say that was probably one of the albums that really, really helped me. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. But also, Sears, Jag, I'm um, just about to say Alanis Morissette's album then. No. Sears, one of her first albums, it was called Some People Have Real Problems. That was an amazing album and I remember finding out about Sia like over 10 years ago before she made it like kind of big time um and this album is absolutely amazing if you've not listened to Sia's album some people have real problems then you really need to go and give it a listen because it is absolutely incredible I thoroughly thoroughly recommend it definitely uh but yeah let me know let me know in the comment box below I'd love to I love hearing people's like Oh, that looks good. Is it that one? Do we want to use that one? I don't know. Maybe this one. That looks a bit better. We need to put something on here to make it look like windows. Maybe I could use the uh, island island living glass thingy-mabobs like these, but I could size them down and use them as windows. Yeah, that looks great. <laughs> Why is it not let me do that? It usually does. Maybe that was too big. Why? Why? Is it this? Te oh, it's doing it now. What was that about? Also, I have used CC now, but every time I go into sort of save the lot, it shows that CC is in my game when there is not any CC in my game. Well, there is, obviously. But why are you doing this? Why have you done this? There we go. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, we'll put a trim in that around it. But I kind of feel that. That looks really cute. That looks really cute. But yeah, there's like it's showing up as there are... And there was nothing on my lot at all. It was completely empty. And I just went to save the lot because I had the name sorted out, Corner Cottage. And it was showing that there was CC in my game. I am confusion. So if anybody can help me out with that, be my guest. Yeah, I think that's pretty cute like that. Obviously, you need some windows at the back and a little entrance door and whatnot. And this needs some windows. But we need to get the floor plan laid out first before we do any of that business. Um, Okay, what I'm going to do now is raise this up. I'm going to raise you up to... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Raise you up to about... I, do, I don't want it massively high, but I do want it quite high yeah yeah <laughs> and what i'm gonna do now is get the terrain tools working let's get that softness on let's get the speed down you to there and you are full yeah is that a bit too fast no that's fine right what i'm gonna do now is raise up this terrain just around here just ever so lightly darling up to about there. Obviously, obviously, this is all rough for the meantime until I can go through and fine tune this. But I just want to get this kind of mapped out. That looks great. That big hill in front of the door there. I'm I'm here for it. Um, I do want some stairs up there though. So I maybe play around with this terrain in here. But we're just going to lift this all around roughly. This is maybe just a little bit too fast. There we go. That's a bit better. At least a little bit better. We'll keep raising this up around. I obviously I'm gonna be changing the foundations up in a second. Um but I just want to get the feel for this. So I want like a slope going up to there. But we I want like a couple of stairs. Probably won't be able to do two sets of stairs on the terrain. But we'll give it a go. We'll raise all this up. It's difficult to kind of manipulate the terrain on pre-existing worlds because most of them are flat, especially like Newcrest and stuff. So it's it, I always find that really difficult to be able to just kind of map that in. My darling friend Leander has just completed his Let's Build Newcrest series. And most of his houses that he built for Newcrest are all up on these like amazing hilltops. They, they look really good. If you haven't checked his uh, series out, then you really need to. 
You really need to. His is on Twitch, though. It's not on uh, YouTube. But I would definitely recommend it to you, sweethearts. I really would. He's a good egg. Right. Okay. There. Yeah. Obviously, this looks weird at the minute because it's all grass. But um, we will get there in a moment. I need to pull you up just a little bit. You look a little bit weird there. I might actually do like a little porch moment at the front of this. I'm unsure just yet. I'm unsure. Right, first things first, before we forget it, let's get the uh, foundation on. Now, it does need to be quite a dark wood because of the roof color. So I'm thinking like this would probably suffice. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, here needs to have a little moment out here too. I do want her to, or the, the nan of the lot, to have a kind of growing area for veg and stuff maybe a little orchard or something i don't know i don't know darlings we'll, f we'll figure that out soon we'll figure that out soon right let's move you down to here boop did a boop okay right now i need to get rid of this wall oh how do you? and get you back up then there we go okay and then Hmm, I'm unsure if I want this, like this at the front here. Because what I could do maybe is, oh, get rid of these walls here. Get rid of you. Obviously get this stone back on. We'll choose the door in a second. Um, But maybe go indoors with it. So it's kind of inset into the house rather than on the outside. Like this. And then what I can do here is place like a, I've got these are sort of like uh, pediments they're called. I didn't even know that. And we could pop these on top here. Or maybe these are from a creator called Tea and Moon on Tumblr. So if you want these for your build, Tea and Moon on Tumblr. And they come in some nice variations. But I'm just, one, oh, that looks good. Let's have a look. Do I want a peaked... Let me see the roof line. Do I want a peaked one or a rounded one? Hmm. Maybe a peaked. Oh, what are these? Oh, they're a bit fancy. They're a bit Georgian, they are. Hmm, that doesn't match the roof line. I think we'll have to go for one of these here. But obviously in a different tone. I think that was the one that we just had there. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, that looks nice. Obviously, this all needs to be detailed around here with pillars and whatnot. Oh, not windows, darling. Not windows. And then two here. What we're going to try and do is get some kind of stepped steeps. Stepped steeples walk up to this area. We need to get the grid on for this, sadly. I hate this luminous color, but it's what needs to happen. Right, so maybe to about there. Let's get some of these grids coming. Come on, flop out. <laughs> Just flop out. Come on. Off you go. There we go. And to... Yeah, maybe I need to go a bit further in, actually. Come on. There you go. There you are, sweetie. There you are. Right, if I can get a little pair of stairs from this... Oh, what way am I? There I am. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, that might be okay. That might be okay. I will have to bring this path now to this kind of level. But then I, hopefully they'll just be able to step up upon this. They should be able to. They should be able to quite easily. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I think so. But now I'll just bring this back down to that level as well. There we go. Yeah, and then a nice stone path going up there. Um, let's carry on with smoothing out the terrain. Let's carry on with that, shall we? Um, is anybody watching anything good on Netflix as well? I always love getting suggestions on what to watch on Netflix. I can recommend something to you guys. Um, it's called... Uh, what is it bloody called again? One second. It's called The Great Hack. It is on Netflix. It's a documentary surrounding the 
Cambridge Analytica scandal, if you remember what that was, it used to be in the news. Um, and it goes on about the Trump campaign and the Brexit campaign, as much as I hate saying that word. Um, I would recommend it to anybody out there who would like to stay woke and realise how corrupt our world is. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy, my friends. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I would definitely recommend it to you. So yeah, go and give that a cheeky little watch. I would. Anyway, let's sort of door out for here for the minute. Obviously, I need to do more to the terrain and stuff, but I just wanted to get as smooth as possible for the meantime. There's a weird crater thing here. I don't know what that is. Let's, in fact, I need to sort that out before I cry. Before I start to cry. We don't want me crying, do we? Yes. Up there. Oh, sh yeah, 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 yeah. I need to make this a little bit more smoother from here. Yeah, up to there. Oh, I can't have that in a step. Can't have the driveway in a step. That would be weird. We'll raise you up to about there. Stunning. Stunning. It'll make all little bushes and it's going to be gorgeous. Now, these stones don't match in properly uh, with what I want. So maybe if I use them darker, that's better. That matches in a little bit better than what they did. And I'm kind of here for that, to be honest. Right, let's... Oh, nearly burped into the mic. Let's, cho let's choose a door. So I definitely need a double door of some descript. Um, I do want it to look quite traditional. Hmm. Hmm. What can we use? Oh, we could use a big... Nah, that doesn't match in well. And it's really short as well. I don't enjoy how short those doors are. Um, let's have a little goosey. You're pretty, you're short as well though. Why is everything so short here? Maybe I need to bring this down. Maybe that's throwing me. Hmm. We'll keep it like that for the minute. It's not going to stay that way, but we'll just do that for the sec for a second. For a second. Let's have a little goose. Just... Oh, that would be better. <laughs> it's not really cottagey. <laughs> um, that was the complete wrong door. Where are you? You were, uh... there we are. Because I could bring the... Oh, are you... Is this the frame stay white? Oh, it doesn't. We could bring... Is there no green? All green? Is that the green? But it just looks weird there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this here. I mean, it's pretty and all, but it's just not cottagey. Cottagey is the word of today. <laughs> we have used that word many times before. <laughs> but we're going to go along with it. Cottagey. Cottage. <laughs> uh, laughing at my jokes. Why am I always laughing at my own jokes? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this definitely needs a roof line on top here. So I think I'm just going to create my own. I'm going to create my own using the power of the build tools. To there. We won't bring you in there though. And we'll whiff you right to the wall. And then we'll go along there to there, darling flop you in this way and then bring this up a touch oh both please both please you down and then i can just round it off slightly here yeah yeah i think that will be better actually yeah because then we can i may, maybe won't use thatched on top of this roof here we'll use like a higgledy higgledy biggledy slate one with a trim, which would probably be best being in like the square variety. Where are you? Square roof trim in a dark gray, maybe? Yeah, a dark gray. Stone wise, mm, I want to use something a bit different for the stones. So maybe like, I like this one, but it's got red in it. I wish this came in like a gray version. I mean, that's really pretty. Do we have a matching terrain paint though that's what we need to remember actually let's get rid of you let's see what terrain paints we've got for stone oh yeah i forgot it came in the complete same oh lovely well then we'll do that we'll do that bring that to there bring you to there do you know one thing that annoys me with this lot is the fact that the border doesn't meet the edge and if you look carefully the board, this lot is completely wonky. Look, it gets thicker the more you go around. 
I don't understand that. Why why do we have wonky lots, please, Sims 4 team? Why do we have wonky lots? <laughs> and driveway, maybe do like a gravelly drive. Obviously, this all needs to be like perfected properly. It's not sitting well with me at the minute. And I think in here, I'm going to do some kind of window box. So what I might do actually is pull this all the way along here. And do I want to come out one on either side of there? I think I do. So if I use one and then one there. And then same foundation all the way along. And also same here as well. And then we can do a little cute um, fence in the front too. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's looking pretty cute so far. Obviously, we need some pillars and stuff coming here and a fence going around the edge of this. But I do want this lot to be fenced in as well, which is going to be quite difficult because I've made it a bit hilly. Uh, so maybe let's just choose the fence here first. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy fancy. I'd like it quite cutesy. I mean, it's not the perfect green. It's definitely not the perfect green for this. It's like kind of two different greens. Ooh, we don't want that. Let me see what greens we've got. <sighs> I really wish that we had white accents. Hmm. Oh, well. I like this fence. This is a definite maybe. A definite maybe for this. They all come in very too far... Too much green. They're not the right tones. For me, anyway. So this one. I won't go inwards on them. And I'm really unfeeling the brown now. So I think I might change everything up just slightly. I'm going to lift the roof as well. See? Building organically. Organically. Changes things around. I am going to change the colour of the roof. We're going to go for a bit more of a lighter one. Now, it does turn quite orangey. That's too light. Oh, it's very orange, isn't it? I mean, that's pretty cute, though. Obviously, the trims and stuff need to be changed, but I'm kind of there for it in, in a way. It means that we can bring white accents into it a little bit easier. So let's try that. Right, you... Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like it, but the only thing is now is that wood doesn't match in with it. Damn! Damn you to hell. Do we have a warmer wood? I'm going to say hell no. I mean, that's not too bad. Should I put it on this side as well? Yeah. No. That's not too bad. I know it's not a warmer wood, but it ma the wood matches in better with the roof than what the first one did, in my eyes. That's pretty cute. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with it. We're going to do it. And we're going to love it. Now, I want a spandrel here, I think. A spandrel. So, maybe I could use... Ooh, that would be pretty. It's very gold. It's very gold, though. I mean, that what matches in well with the roof. Hmm. Hmm. What about you? Yeah, that's better. That's a better one because, friends, we can now use the these ones. Oh, I like it. Obviously, we can't use the... Um, these on the like edges of the build, it just looks weird, but yeah, we'll use this one then. Bugger it. Okay. All right, we'll pop you to there. You to there. I am going to do a freeze on the house as well, on the cottage as well. But I'm unsure as to what freeze that will be. And then I'm going to try and find placements to be able to put the fire or the chimneys and the fire for the fires. That will be housed inside. Oh, that's cute. That's starting to come together now. The colours are appealing to me a lot more, actually. This all needs to be, like, rejigged and stuff. We'll, we'll do that uh, at a later date. 
Do I want to change this roof trim now for an orangey roof trim too? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Let's uh, let's get these roof lines down because what I'm going to do here is place a two wide tile just above this. Just to frame it in and stop having that weird underneath section there. There we go. Boop. And then we can put a freeze. The freeze will probably go all the way around that actually. Let's choose a freeze. Oh, can't use these. I wish we could just use freezes at any height that we pleased as well. Like, I'm not here for the fact that we can't. Mm, is that a bit too much? I think the jutting one may, or oh, it might need to be even thicker actually. Yeah, I think the thicker one. Question is, do we do this color? Or do we do it in a gray? No, definitely not a gray. What about a dark gray? Nope. It's a bit too thick, isn't it? Let's go for the jutting one. Oh no, the simple. The simple. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay, I think what we'll start doing now is starting to just... I'm going to smooth out all of the landscaping edges and just make it look a little bit more polished. So yeah, I just smoothed it out, polished it up a little bit, bought the landscaping right up to the foundation as well. So there was really no point of us choosing a foundation. <laughs> but... It just looks a little bit better. Now, my thoughts were maybe just doing like a really lovely little bit of landscaping around this area. But I am going to go and flatten this down now and do a big fence. And maybe do a big fence to kind of fence it all in. But I'm unsure. But we're going to do it live, my dear. Live, I tell you. Let's get you to there. And what I did with the steps as well, look, I kind of raised the terrain like that to sort of like frame it in. And I just think it looks... a a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Right, let's get you let's get you down to like that size, shall we? And just flatten this all the way along. And then this is where the fence is gonna be housed then. And then we won't get like a weird slopey fence going on. Um same all the all the way throughout the lot. But what I'll probably do is um Go between fences and hedges and stuff, like not just keep the same fence all the way around, just for a bit of like just for a bit of difference so it doesn't look too weird now on this side here this is where i'm probably going to put the garden uh so this i want them to have like a little orchard so loads of apple trees and you get where i'm going with it you get it and here's going to be a porch so we, we're going to start building on that in a sec let me just or let's start choosing a fence so it needs to be quite high maybe but it needs to be in an orangey tone doesn't it so that's going to be a bit difficult hmm Oh, that would look lovely there, though. Maybe not in that tone, though. What other tones do we have? What about you? Is that the same one? Yes. Is the answer to that? No, I think in maybe that one. I mean, that does look cute. We're going to swamp this place in landscaping, like trees and stuff as well. But we may need to make sure that we're getting these kind of trees in too to blend it in as best as possible into this landscape. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm going to put it to like there to begin with and then we'll probably mix things up a little bit with trees and stuff in just a sec. Uh, especially around here because I want this to be quite a private area. So like people can't sort of peer in sort of street view. Um, that might be semi difficult to do, but we're going to give it a good old go. A good old go. Um, do I want to bring this straight across here? Yeah, we're going to need to flatten that down though. Flatten it to there. There we are. And then put a nice two wide. Where's that stone fence that goes, um, stone gate that goes with it? It's this one here, isn't it? Yep. But maybe, oh, that's not too bad. But have you got like an orangey tone? No. Damn. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. That's pretty cute. Should we do a white fence up here now? Now that we've got that in. Wonder if I could put the high white picket fence on this level. Oh, it's very high. Now, I like the shape of this one. It goes with the house nicely. And it has got a white tone to it as well, which is good. That's very white though. Have you got like a just a pale version? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. No, definitely the pale. We can just go ahead and do it this way instead. Boop, boop, 
a boop, and a bop, and there we are. Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, I think I'm thinking that. Shall I, should we have just like, have a little look at what the windows would look like white? I know I, do, I like them in green, but yeah, the windows are too crisp. They need to stay like that. Lovely. Okay, well, we've got that sort of semi mapped out. I think we'll go to the back and start adding the porch area in. So, porch area. I'm thinking maybe doing like a kind of sunroom. Kind of connecting off onto like a little porch area over this way. What I mean by porch is like a veranda area. Um, I think I'll do that because then we can easily connect in the uh, garage area as well. Um, yeah, I think so. We'll do a nice sort of conservatory area here. Um, is that? Yeah, that should be okay, I think. And then what I can do here is just connect all of this area in with a lovely little veranda outside seating area that we could put onto this side. Let me see the space there. Maybe, maybe coming out from the porch and one over this way as well. And then what we can do, Danny, is put lots of bushes and whatnot. Uh, ceiling wise here, I mean roof, sorry, roof wise. I think we'll do a half gabled. This could change, but we'll do it for the meantime. I think I'll do it too there. Bring you to about there for the minute. Do we want to round this off? That's the question. Uh, do that to about there. Do I want to tuck these in? I think I do. Yeah. And maybe just slope this out and just fine tune that slightly to there. Yeah, that could be pretty cute. I'm not really enjoying the way that that kind of just finishes there though. So I'm going to pull this right around. We need stairs. Well, I'm going to hill this area up slightly over here. So I'll connect that in that way. Um, and I think I'll do that now. I think I'll do it now. Seems I didn't show you what I was doing last time. I will do it live. Live for you. Oh God, that's very fast. Very fast indeed. Yeah, we'll pop this all the way up to this. Just so... God, the seagulls are going mad. You won't be able to hear them, but... There are lots of seagulls... Squawking outside my house. And they're hardly seagulls. They're like literally pterodactyls. The size of them. Pterodactyl? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's like, is that the right dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, we'll raise this up. Bring you right up, darling. Little hillside orchard area would look really cute. Okay. Might be a bit more difficult to kind of... Let's get the smoothness down on that. Might be a little bit more difficult to kind of make this private now. I've made this a bit more um, sloped, but we'll give it our best bloody shot. Uh, let's smooth you. We'll do some landscaping on this so it doesn't have that awful earth situation going on and maybe do a path around here now that that that's now that that's there maybe do like a little path area come around here hello oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> um to here are you doing this why maybe i need to go faster with it there we go Maybe do like a little path area around here. And I could like fence this in. That would look pretty cute. I'll fence this area in up on this side. That would look pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm happy with that. Not happy with that there though. So let's smooth this into submission. There we go. There we are. Stunning. There we go. Okay. Yep. I don't know what wallpapers to use on this. Maybe I could use the just wood version of this one. I mean, that's not too bad. Let's have a look in different lighting. I know it's not the same wood in it, but that kind of fits in with the orange better, if you know what I mean. I think it's because it's got a warmer tone to it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And we'll use the same 
Uh. Oh. Oh, there it is. We'll use this one here on this as well. Okay. I am going to just slope this just slightly. Just ever so slightly, darlings. Just here and maybe just a fraction there. Hmm. I think so for the minute. Once there's windows in this bit, I think it will pull it together. I'm going to put a trim on it anyway for the meantime. And what sort of trim are we going to use? We are going to use a square one. Ye old faithful square. In this tone, which matches in with that one. Am I correct? Nope. <laughs> so let's eye drop this one. Not that sometimes we can bloody eye drop anything. But I'm going to try. Square roof trim. Onto there. And then we'll pop it there as well. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And I think we're going to use the same stone as what we've got here on this area out here too. And obviously this will be fenced in nicely. And then we can raise this around to there. I need to remember to open up the driveway. We'll do that now. So it might be difficult for cars to squeeze through this bit, but... They'll be fine. They can get over that way. Absolutely fine. Um, This one? Maybe this one? Uh, is the softness on? Oh, that's a big slope, isn't it? <laughs> Hey-ho. It'll be fine. Right, and if I raise this around, connect it into there, and then just push this just ever so slightly, darling, to like there. <laughs> Look at that slope. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need to tweak that just slightly. Let's let's tweak it, darling. <laughs> That's a bit better. <laughs> uh, oh, don't you raise up. Oh, it did, you little shit. Right, I'm going to get rid of you and put a bush there. There we go. Might have to do a few more tweakages. Tweakages? Okay. There we go. Yeah, big hill to get your car in. We can just hang the car out slightly from the garage. Um, Same fence all the way around? I think so. I think so. I think we'll start it there. Start it there. I'm not enjoying that for the minute. Why are you not coming here? Oh, there we go. Is that wonky? No. Um, I won't go along that whole area, but we'll go to there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's okay. Um, I wish this lot connected into it. I really do. We're going to put loads of hedges and stuff there anyway, so I'm going to start just marking out some soily areas where I can actually put the hedges and stuff. No, this is a little bit too harsh of a line, but we're going to go with it. And what I mean is the softness. The softness of this brush was a little bit too too high. Harsh. A little bit too harsh. But we'll go with that for the minute. Um, and then the same thing next to these plant um, st stairs. <laughs> Nearly lost myself in thought then. To there. We'll do some really lovely little flower moments in the front here. Some nice flower beds. That Marjorie. That name has just appealed to me, so... Yeah, the older lady in this household is Marjorie. And don't forget, this is the house where I said their grandparents have got, like, full custody of their grandson, who is a massive Harry Potter fan. So we will be using the Pufferhead stuff pack. Ah, look at that ugly green bloody line. I bet you any money it doesn't cover. I was right. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Okay. And the same down this way. So if I go there, all the way down to there. Shall I just do this whole area in soil? Um, I think I might, you know. I think I'm going to do this whole bit here in soil. And we're going to cover it in landscaping. This is going to be heavy on the landscaping, this... um 
build. So you probably see some landscaping in this part, some landscaping in the detailing part as well. So, and I might do a little bit off of camera, but as I said, as I always say, I will show you what I've done off of camera. So you can, so you can get a general idea of things. And yeah, we'll pop to you to there. Obviously it all needs tweaking and stuff, but for the minute that's not too bad. I could do a gate there maybe, because if they just wanted to go in that way and go in, that could be cool. Has it got a matching gate for this one? Yes, this one here, look. Lovely. We didn't use it in a pure white, it was this one. Why did why did you look like a different colour then? Why does that look like a different colour? We'll pop it there anyway. It's definitely a different colour. <laughs> eh, we'll come to it. Don't like the way that's floating, but we can hide that. We'll hide that, darling. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Right, I'm going to stop putting the hedges in around the edges. Hedges around the edges. Uh, probably be good to go into debug, actually. So I'm just going to go and pull a few things out of debug. Give me two seconds. So I've decided that I'm going to marry a hedge because I found this hedge and I'm in love with it. We are now officially a couple. Um, we will be getting married in the autumn. You can send your gifts to P.O. Box, Devon Bumpkin, Mick Hedge. Oh my God, <laughs> just shut up, Aiden. <laughs> but look how amazing this is. I'm gonna mix it up with this wall to just, I don't know, just have a little bit of difference in texture and stuff. Leave some, leave some gaps here and there. Obviously this all needs to be fine tuned. I cannot grab this one. Oh, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to grab it then. I nearly died. Yes. I'm here for it. We have got mixtures of the like different walls as well. I'm wondering if I could find a wall instead of this one, but it kind of goes with it quite nicely. I don't really want to mess around with it too much, especially when I found my future husband, um, Darren. <laughs> Darren the Hedge. <laughs> oh, somebody save me from myself. <laughs> Imagine a hedge called Darren. <laughs> oh, lordy. Lordy, lordy. Yeah, I think that will go quite well. Yeah, that looks cool. Nice. I'm, I'm enjoying that. I am enjoying it. We're going to carry on with it. Oh, there's a wibbly wall, though, look. It's not, it's not the right colour, but that is a wibbly wall. Wibbly, wibbly wall. Oh, and a bridge. I need to find a build to be able to use this on. Oh God, you can see right through it. But I definitely need to find a bitch. I also pulled out the arch as well. My thoughts as well. Maybe we could like put some flowers on this. Like raise them up using the nine key and put some flowers around there. But yeah, not too bad. Let's try and pick some trees. I'm just going to go back in and find some trees and pull them out as well. Give me two seconds. Okay, so I couldn't find any sort of trees that match in with this house in debug but i have pulled out a few here that we're going to start just laying around the place now that one's not going to stay there but i just enjoyed this one here's from the island living pack i love this i'm just wondering what color to use it and i thought yellow would be good but it wasn't red and it looked really great with this house but i think we'll stick with this now where to place you i don't really want you there because you kind of hide the house too much i'm thinking here but then I don't want to swamp this area too much because I do want to do apple trees around this area over here. Now, these ones here I've picked out, which are the European beech trees, I think they are. Main reasons being I want them to blend in with the world around it. So I am going to place a few of these in various sizes just around the lot itself. Um, we'll put one quite close to the house. Why are you off? Oh, <laughs> we'll put you to like there let's have a look from this way yeah and maybe just a one like here do i want it to be smaller we do just slightly smaller on this side slightly smaller and then a couple of these these just fit in well with the actual aesthetics i think personally uh oh no i can't clone it that is that we have got one very similar to that though haven't we is it this one yeah it is that one it is that exact tree. I just pulled that one out of debug and I was like, oh, that looks great. Yeah, we'll do that one to like there. Let's not swamp the house. Let's keep the front open. See, this is starting to blend in a little bit better now. Blend in a little bit better. 
to the world around it. Mm, I'm unsure how I'm going to do this sort of orchard area just yet. I might sort of do rows of apple trees going down that way. But we'll, we'll see. We will see. Just a cute little one. Cute little tree there. I think that looks cute. We'll start um, laying some flowers around these areas now. Now, I will go into debug in a sec and get some more sort of like flowers and stuff out. I wasn't really looking for flowers just a minute ago. But for the meantime, I think we'll stick with the ones that we've got already got in game. Um, maybe go for a bit of a blue. Eh. That's more of a purple, isn't it? I could do white. Could do white. Yeah, let's do a few whites. A few whites here and there. Let's not make you float. We'll pop one there. One on this side. Size a couple down just to get some natural-esque movements going around. Um, and we'll do this one around like there. We'll spin you right around. Yes, okay. Okay, and some more bushy numbers. We'll grab some um, more bushes from Debug, but for the minute I might use these ones. Or I could put some lavender. I could do some lavender with this. Oh, it's a bit... No. It's not going to fit in. Not going to fit in with that. Um. So, mm -hmm. we'll use the ye old faithful just to frame a few of these sort of areas in a little bit better. And kind of trail it down to the path itself down to the bottom look i could put a bush there it's fine um will you be okay there yes yes you will I'll frame this one around just to give the feeling of landscaping oh didn't didn't hold shift down for that one there we go one more just underneath here just underneath there yeah, that's starting to come into play a little bit better. Again, I'm going to go into debug and pull some more out. <laughs> okay, so I've pulled a few more pieces out. Obviously, we I haven't laid them where I want them to go as of yet. But I kind of want this area to look quite overgrown around kind of here. Have the orchard on top here. Full of apple trees for Granny to munch on. Um... These might float slightly in places, but I will go around and rectify everything. Maybe off of camera a little bit. Um, I think that would be the way to do it. But And these rocks as well, I thought, kind of really fit in with the aesthetics. Oh, excuse me. So I thought it was maybe framing the... Um, I could maybe just size these down slightly. Damn it, I wish I pulled more of these out now. I can go and find them. I can go and find them again. Maybe something like this. Let's get you down lower. I wish you could raise these up and stop them from kind of sitting on the train weirdly. Uh, I've seen that the rocks do a really good job of that. Like they really sit into the terrain. Why can we not have that? I want that in the others as well. Um, if I do it again, like here and here, I could frame this in going this way it's not cutting too much can we just bring you down slightly we'll hide that ugly business going on there obviously all this needs to be morphed around again but i just thought this would look pretty cute maybe if i no let's just do it to there and i'll put a... i'll put a bush there i'll put a bush there and hide that in fact let's do that now uh can we just so I can't see it floating. There we go. That's a bit better. It's not perfect, but it's a bit better. Um, I also pulled out these lavender boxes. Absolutely love it. The graphics are sitting really well. Uh, they don't look as good. Um, they look better than the base game ones. The base game ones haven't got as many polygons on it. So you can see that this one's got a lot more detail to it. Really like how they look against the house. I thought that was very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Let's move all of you down to like here. I'm going to mix this up with some like maybe some white flowers too. Um, and some obviously some terrain paints and stuff just to make it so they're not floating like this. <laughs> we will we will sort that out, I promise. I might even lift the terrain up actually just to sort of see what it does. Let's have a little look at you. That's a little bit better. Obviously it needs tweaking. 
Oh, that tree. I don't want to raise you up too much, love. Oh, I just raised that wall up there. Don't want that happening either. Yeah, if I can do that like around there. That looks kind of pretty. But I do want to frame this area in with rocks. Um, I did pull out some more over here, actually. So maybe I'll do that now. Let's size you down. Do you not size down? Why are you not sizing down? Eh. Me uh, what? Why? I don't understand. I do not understand. Let's just bring you up slightly to there. Frame you around there. Maybe I can fill this in a little bit better. Obviously the landscaping needs to touch up as well. And these, can we mix these up together? Yeah, I suppose that looks a bit weird. I liked these with the, the greens here. I can't size these down either. What's going on? Uh, I just literally sized these down. I don't understand what's going on with them. Uh, maybe I can mix them up with the hedges. Oh, I just went out of game. Silly bum. There we go. Back in. I pressed the windows key and shot off to, to Timbuktu. Yeah, they don't look they look quite nice with the hedges actually. Oh good, because I wasn't looking forward to trawling through and finding them again. They make it they just mix up the textures again. Uh Oh! They're they're working now. Why is that a thing? It's not letting me size up on a terrain that's hill, but if you bring it down here. Nope. <laughs> that wasn't the science behind that. Uh, maybe I've got to place them first and then do it. Nope. Still didn't let me. I just literally did one. You guys saw it. Don't know what was going on there. Yeah, that's looking nice. Let's just move. Is that the right one? Nope, that's rock. Let's move you just slightly over there. I want this to look as natural as possible. Like there wasn't too much thought going into it. Maybe a few wildflowers and stuff going to be here. But you kind of get the gist. You're kind of getting the gist of this. I will tweak all of this off of camera. But you kind of get the idea of it. Well, I think we'll carry on with the back exterior just to sort of get a feel for things. But I'm kind of enjoying how this is looking now. One thing that's bothering me is the inside of this garage. I don't like the fact that, that there's that. But do we want to put this in here as well? I mean, it would blend it in perfectly. I think so. That might change. We'll keep it like that for the minute. Um, window boxes on the outside of the houses. On the outside of this house, sorry. I was thinking using this, hoping that it will come in a color that would match in quite well. Um, I don't think... Oh my God, that's perfect. <laughs> I was literally just about to say, I don't think we're going to find any. And voila my friends. Wa bloody la. Bloody la. Oh, shush. Shush. Yes. Now I'm not enjoying the lavender out there, but I don't want to get rid of them. I want to use them somewhere. I have put loads at the back. So maybe we'll use the lavender at the back and I could just use these at the front here. Do we want to put them downstairs as well? Would that be overkill? Would that be overkill? I mean, it is an English cottage. They do usually have plenty of flowers plussed around them. But I don't want it to look too repetitive. That's the only problem. No, I'm kind of here for that. There's going to be ivy climbing up this as well. Maybe we'll do that now just so you can get a feel for things. I think we'll go ahead and use this one. I haven't used this one in a hot titty minute. <laughs> a hot titty minute. Um... I've always, I'm, in fact, what I'm going to do is mix two of the ivies together. Yes, it's covering the window. I do not care. My ivy is a naughty, naughty leaf. There we go. Yeah, around there, frame there. That might be cutting in slightly there, but we'll get to that on the inside. Do want to kind of swamp this in ivy, but I want to mix the textures and the colours off a little bit. So maybe bringing in the darker ivy in with it too would be a good idea. Yes. Yeah, that's better. Yes. 
and then maybe just a little bit up here. Mm, size you down. Size you down and stick you there. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. It needs to be tweaked. I might drag it around this side and make it look a little bit more fluid. Show a bit more stone off, maybe. Um, but we'll do that off camera. You're getting the idea of what we're going for with this house anyway. Let's get onto the back. We're going to pop the windows into this side. Sort out this little door area going onto here. And then do some windows around there. And on these bits here, etc. And then I think we'll leave this exterior episode where it is today. Because it has definitely gone on a long, long time. Now we do want big windows in here. Um... Because I, do, I don't know what I want to fit in this area at the conservatory. I do want a seating area. There's not going to be any matching windows as such. I mean, they match in pretty well, but it's not the same. Let me just see how many. I can get three perfect ones. Oh, that doesn't look too bad at all. Let's see you in a different light. Oh, that looks good. I, I'm going to frame it around to this side and put a door on that side. It doesn't look good in this lighting, but we're going to forgive it. We're going to forgive it. No, we're not going to do that. And we're going to put a door on this side here. Um, A nice... A nice sunny door. Maybe I could use that Georgian, this one here now. I wish that was taller. That just sits at a weird level, even on a short wall for me. I don't enjoy it. I do not enjoy that. Um, But maybe because it's just in white. If I used it in a matching colour to the actual wood, it might sit in a little bit easier. Hmm. I know this isn't the same one, but... Eh. No. No, I think we'll go ahead and use that other one. Right, I can't see where it is. I've got far too much CC. Uh, I do need to go through and remove some of the CC I've got and put it in a folder to, like, plop in whenever I need it. Um, no, we definitely want the double aspect. There isn't like a higher one, is there? No. Let me see if I can fit this wood tone in and see if that would make a difference. I need to match it in with those windows. That's probably as good as we're going to get. Do I want to put it there, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that looks pretty cute. I know it's at a weird level. Hmm, okay. We'll keep it there for the minute. That might change, as with 100% of this build might change. But for the minute, they're going to stay exactly as is. As is. Oh, the only problem here is that weird cutoff point. So I am going to go into this and find these, maybe. They're very tiny. Let's find that green tone that we've been using. I've gone through the wrong way. Um, hello. Oh, there it is. That always looks like just so off to me until you put it in natural light. It, it looks like a dark bluey gray. Uh, do I just do two on either side? Yes. And I bet you any money someone comments in the box, you've made a, a man again with the windows. Someone said I made a man with a moustache. <laughs> and it did actually really look like it. Um, that's not the same height as the other side. I could... I could still put them at that height, actually. There we go. Look, man with a moustache. Ha <laughs> um, ha. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's coming along. It's definitely coming along. The landscape needs a huge, big tweak. But I will do that off camera. And I will show you when we get round to doing the exterior in the next episode. And then obviously in the detailing episode, we will uh, we will do some more landscaping. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for con your continued support. I really do absolutely adore you all. Um, but I will see you in part two for the interior furnishings. Goodbye, my friends.